Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carver, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. That's why I remain unimportant. Less pressure. As if the return of the Amels hasn't set Hightown on its ear. As long as it's off its ass. Sure, have your fun. But the coin you poured into Kirkwall tipped what balance there was. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people, not always for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here, and I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. That turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. And here I was hoping you'd forgotten. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. I can't say you've been keeping a low profile. The Knight Commander is out of control. Even her own people have been talking about it. The curfews, the midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Justice must not know where to turn first. In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. What's the worst that can happen? You turn into an abomination and start... Never mind. Bad joke. My control is fraying. I cannot hold back justice. Or whatever creature he has become much longer. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can. But this impasse cannot last. One day... Everyone in Kirkwall will have to choose a side. 